Hello YouTube, this is Ghost Rider from the home QTH. In the radio room, it's a stormy night, so uh, we really don't have any antennas plugged in. We're just sitting here uh, doing a few things at the desk and uh, figured I would make a little video on something we're working on. Kind of new around here, and that is we're trying to learn a new language. That's right, International Morse Code. You just thought that was dead. Well, got a lot of news for you. It is not dead. It's very active on the amateur radio bands. And when I started in this hobby um, about a year and a half ago, I thought I would never, ever, ever want to do Morse Code or CW. And I've since changed my mind and um, it's kind of grown on me and I'm in the process of learning it so I haven't gotten it down yet I've got most of the letters but copy wise it's a little bit difficult you've got to hang in there and stick with it so we're going to give it some time to uh, to kind of develop and see where we go but um, it's it's cool because as I said why why do you why would you want to use this mode of communication on the amateur radio bands or anywhere else well perfect example tonight we don't have any antennas plugged in at all and looking at the icon here i'm just going to turn the volume up let's see what we hear no antenna plugged into the back So we're getting uh, we're getting CW communications uh, without an antenna plugged in. What does that tell you? That this mode of communication can punch through a lot of noise, a lot of static, a lot of background noise, and you will be able to make uh, communication and contact if you need to with other radio operators. Of course, many people know from experience and. Uh, maybe other training that uh, Morse code can be used via either a flashing light or using a mirror or I even read a story where a guy that was being held hostage actually blinked his eyes uh, to the camera in such a way that the people um, that saw the video knew that he that certain things were happening to him he was given that message just by blinking his eyes so that's pretty cool um, you can do a lot with it and again we're going to try to learn it here it's going to take time I can tell that but uh, that's anything worth doing is worth putting some time into so the next thing I want to do is just show you what I've got here for uh, Kier um, what we have here is a Begali Expedition um, very nice gear made in Italy um, by Begali and wow this thing is about maybe three or four inches square by a couple inches tall and what I thought I would do one thing you don't want in a keyer is something so small it's going to move around your desk when you're trying to send code and you're constantly having to hold on to it with your other hand so this one is definitely not going to move. I, I, I wondered what it weighed. I said, "Well, let's just put that to rest and let's let's put it on the scale." So let's just see what we got here. That is, if I can get the camera to focus, two pounds and fifteen point two ounces. So nearly three pounds in that little package, and you know it when you pick it up. If you don't have a grip on this thing, when you go to uh, when you go to handle it, you're going to drop it. <laughs> it's 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 that heavy, which is nice. It's not going to move around. It's made out of a like a piece of anodized stainless steel. The way it's made, um, the bottom of it, you've got your uh, keyer cord coming into the two poles. It comes with the the cord itself 
Uh, the other end of the cord, which is about a four foot long cord, has an eighth inch uh, stereo jack on it. Probably for most radios, you're going to need the quarter inch adapter to go to the larger uh, port on the radio. But yeah, it comes with that in the box. It also comes with a nice uh, drink coaster. Eh, I can't read Italian, but that's pretty cool. Three uh, QSL cards, you know, not filled out that you can send to some other contacts if you're into actually sending the QSL cards, but uh, that's pretty nice. Now another thing I want to do is uh, kind of show you the setup. Most modern radios have what's called an electronic keyer built into the side, the inside of them. <clears throat> so it's going to take the signal from your key and it's going to convert it into dits and dives uh, based on the frequency tone that you set for it as far as uh, whether it's going to sound like a lower tone or a higher tone and the sending speed and on the icom 7300 that's uh that's easily adjusted here you have to go to the cw mode um let's see if i can get this to focus so we go to our cw mode once you're in the cw mode uh, you can see here you've got um, your keyer speed which is how fast you want to send and the pitch of the tone of the uh, of the CW waveform. Anyway, that's easy to set on this radio and most radios. Um, also, there's a function on most radios that uh, is called either break-in or semi-break-in. And on this particular radio, if you uh, if you hit the break in button, you're going to get the break in icon, and that puts you into semi break in mode, which means that um, as you key uh, the code into it, it's going to wait uh, a little short while before it resets back to receive. <clears throat> There's also full break in mode, which which means it's going to uh, send and then it's going to immediately when you come off the key receive and then when you touch the other paddle it's going to send again when you release it it's going to receive that's called full break in mode I just keep it in semi break in that way if you're sending a word or something it's not going to constantly cycle back between send and receive uh, while you're trying to transmit so if you uh, on this particular radio on most other ones if you turn off the break in uh, icon or take it out of that mode you're going to get only uh, side tone on the radio from the keyer so if I uh, turn the volume up here and just go off of that frequency a little bit and uh, get over here to the key see maybe you can maybe you can hear this Let you practice uh, at least sending and that's pretty cool you can you can set your your speed to whatever you would like to do and like I said before sending's a lot different than receiving you might you'll probably get sending down way before you get your receiving uh, and being able to copy what's being said to you or transmitted to you down but that's just the way it goes anyway I thought I'd do just a quick little video on on Morse code or CW and uh, maybe this will help some of you out don't be afraid of it it's a cool mode and I think you're gonna like it 73